Entering a medical center is daunting because upon entering, the patients never know what the diagnoses will be. If the result is something scary like cancer, the journey is difficult not only for the patients, but for those who love them. It's really hard, you know, to see somebody suffer and you can't, uh, you can do nothing about it. Richard Crocker knows a little something about cancer. He stayed by his wife Tony's side through three bouts of the disease and treatment. When Tony gets done with this chemo treatment, she still has the same amount of time now with radiation. So it is just a long, long haul. Each time cancer attacked, things looked bad. The first couple of weeks when it looked really serious, the prognosis meant death. But Richard did what he could, showing nothing but love and support. The same as he had done for his wife of 43 years, even as she was sent to the cancer center for treatment. And I had to let her go. And that was hard. So those were really dark days. The American Cancer Society expects over 1,700,000 new cancer cases in 2018 alone, resulting in more than 600,000 deaths. And although Richard had to prepare himself emotionally for the worst, he refused to give up trying to help her live, even when the future looked bleak. So there's this grief, you're always kind of on the edge of a tear. He realized the critical role loved ones play in a cancer battle. They can help patients hold on to hope, even when survival seems impossible. Hope is my word of the year, and without hope you're going to die. You'll just go down a dark hole. Because with hope, top medical care, and her husband's support, Tony became living proof of the impossible becoming possible. I don't think I could have done it without him. You just need that support and someone there to just be there. Hold up your hands and say, okay, you can do this. Despite facing three different breast cancers over the past 10 years, with three ominous prognoses, there is a light at the end of the tunnel for Tony. It's looking great. I should be cancer free. For Richard. And when I see no hair, that means she has life. When I see that her body has been altered with a double mastectomy, when I see those scars, I see life. And for all cancer patients. If you're willing to share your journey, there are people that are willing to walk with you. Some people refer to this as the cancer bridge because it leads to the center where treatment takes place. Walking across this bridge for patients is terrifying because they never know what will happen when they reach the end. It's less terrifying if they can make this walk with someone who cares. In Cheyenne, Catherine Chloe Cahoon, CBS News Channel 5.